Hey there, as promised, an update, what just came out, what's happening in all 50 states to cover and keep you updated. My promise to you, when it matters, all 50 states and also the states that are paying out right now. Maybe you don't care about what's happening with Sam Bankman Freed and FTX, the scandal, or Kevin O'Leary or CZ. Who cares, right? Some people just need to know, look, I need a little help. And that's what this video is about. So we have an update. With little immediate help from the federal government, more than 20 states are sending out and have already paid payments to taxpayers in response to the extraordinary inflation that we still have. By reading on and learning about all the changes that have taken place since I originally covered it, you may be able to determine whether the state is receiving any of the money that I talk about here. Knowing that inflation won't likely be significant or a significant impact, even if some of these payment amounts are hundreds of dollars, you know, it's a little comforting that they're thinking about you. Theoretically, efforts targeted at particular groups or industries such as gas cards or payments, depending on income, could minimize the pain caused by the prices of some goods and services without placing as much pressure on prices generally to raise that inflation. Meaning, how do we get you money without making things more expensive? State governments plan to assist taxpayers in the following ways in light of the rising prices. Let's uh, talk about that. My name is Andrew Cartwright. My goal is to help you get money when you got that money to leverage it and to invest it. I can relate to where you're probably at. I've been broke and homeless to multimillionaire four different times. I kind of got an idea where you're at. I've started 32 companies in 17 industries. Right now, I'm so excited because working with my audience, we're buying 99 companies together. I'm putting up the equity and we're getting the balance in a loan and buying 99 companies so that we can succeed together. These are successful companies where you own 81%, I own 19%. So let's rock it. Find some companies out there. The link to that Epic 99 is down below in the description, as well as all my contact information is down there too. Also, if you need a loan for your business, maybe you have a business and you need money. Well, I got 12 different programs, 80 lenders. These are not traditional lenders, so we can get things done that the banks can't get done. So make sure you check the link down below for a loan and grab that free stock as well. It's free money. It's like a stimulus from nowhere. You can fund with a penny and get thousands of dollars in stock. So don't miss out on that. But first, let's start by discussing Colorado. Millions of dollars in federal and state taxes are paid by inhabitants of Colorado. Whether you're a tenant or a landlord, you might be eligible for a stimulus check in the form and portion of your hard-earned money to pay. Those who meet the requirement for this program may get money and help pay their rent or mortgage. The American Rescue Plan Act has the funds which people can get the help in the form of stimulus checks. This act may result in payments totaling $9 billion going out to U.S., the state region, and tribal organizations. In difficult economic times, this program has created and helped Americans maintain their houses and their utilities, especially right now. Delaware residents still have time to fill out their form and get the $300 direct tax credit rebate. $300 going to you guys. Yes, there is still time to apply for the most recent batch of $300 relief checks from Delaware. A statute that Governor John Carney signed in April established the Delaware Relief Rebate Program, which would run until 2022. There was a plan to compensate the taxpayers for a total of $230 million at the time. Delaware residents have to basically request the funds and then they're not accepting applications if you miss the deadline. Now, Massachusetts citizens, please be patient. One of the ways is November, the state will begin returning almost $3 billion in deserved taxpayers this week. 500,000 tax refunds will be issued going out to you guys. If you filed your 2021 Massachusetts individual income tax return before October 17, 2022, you're eligible for the 2022 Massachusetts tax refund. If you haven't already, you still have time to submit your Massachusetts state tax return. If you submit your 2022 Massachusetts income tax return by September 15, 2023, the state of Massachusetts believes you might still be qualified for that refund. As I mentioned, though, California has declared a second $1,050 stimulus payout. If you are electronically filing your California tax return and got a refund, you're most likely going to get a stimulus check that will be transferred to you 
directly. Those who are eligible for direct deposit stimulus payments and have never received the GSS payment by direct deposit can obtain their money between October 28th through November 14th. The payment schedule will make public after November 7th and those last names starting with A through L are after November 21st and those with M through Z if a person previously did not receive a GSS debit card but now anticipates receiving one with the California stimulus payment. Your debit card may not arrive for up to two weeks after the date that you first put in the information and the 1050 once again would be put out to you. Now let's talk about Alaska. The majority of the Alaskans get a yearly payment through the permanent fund dividend program. If you're new to Alaska, you're probably like, wow, this is cool. They also received an additional $650 more than they did from the previous year. This PFD increased from 1,114 in 2021 to 3,284 in 2022 as a result of the expansion of that permanent fund. Since this is how Alaska spends its money with mining and oil, the higher prices of crude oil can be blamed on some of the rest of the dividend payments, which uh, I don't think uh, that's a great thing. But the PFD and the energy assistance beneficiaries who choose direct deposits got their money September 20th. Alaskans begin sending eligible candidates paper checks October 6th for each kid from Florida families who partake in the Hope Florida, a pathway to prosperity, are receiving $450. Foster parents, family members, and other caregivers, people who take part in the GAP or the TANF families are also getting choices to get this. These funds are made available through the temporary assistance and needy families, that's the, the TANF, and events as a part of what's come out of the pandemic. And Georgia is given a refund of $250 because Georgia's budget surplus set a new record. People who are filing their 2020 or 2021 tax returns got a rebate. The cost of the private parties is $250. Joint filers are getting 500 bucks compared to uh, 375 for those who are the head of the household. Hmm, you gotta pay all the bills and you don't get the extra money? Kind of funny, right? If you owe money for things like taxes or child support, your pay might have been reduced. There is probably those who have relocated and received a lesser award. That's the case for you. Taxpayers who filed their returns April 18th will receive a check in the mail in August in order to be a helpful taxpayers. The Georgia Department of Revenue is available to help you and they want your help in getting your return to them so they can get you the money. The $300 refund in Hawaii comes next. In June of last year, the Hawaiian legislation approved a tax credit. If people earn below $100,000, they receive 300 bucks. And if you're above that 100,000, well, you'll receive $100 coverage for and also for dependents uh, as well. If your state income tax return for 2021 is filed by July 31st, 2022, you can anticipate getting a paper check in the mail September along with a refund. You can expect your return no later than 12 weeks after filing if you submit between August 1st and December 31st of 2021. Now, Idaho will give $75 back. Idaho Governor Brad Little signed off on a $350 million tax break in February to get the food credit refund. You have to file a taxes both 2020 and 2021 in Idaho. The money came in March and every Idahoan who filed their tax return in 2020 received 75 bucks or 12% of the entire amount owed. Line 20 of Form 40 contains the reported tax amount. Taxpayers or members of the family must be applicants in order to get it. The tax commission issued rebates by direct deposit before printing the checks. In almost all cases, the payments have already been made. September 1st, the Idaho administration legislation extended this tax cut for 2020 taxpayers and individuals to $300 while couples get $600. Their earning of the special session will be used to make around 75,000 payments per week. The processing payments are all due at the end of the year and in the first quarter of 2020. 23 they'll begin now residents of the region have accessed an online refund tracking now let's talk about illinois somebody corrected me on that from the last video the individual income tax rebate will only be available to people whose annual income is less than two hundred thousand dollars or if you're married four hundred thousand dollars filing jointly beneficiaries will receive fifty dollars and dependents will get a hundred so you get a little money property tax credits are available to residents who make under two hundred fifty thousand dollars annually 
and 500,000 for joint filers, which if you're in that state, you know how property taxes are crazy expenses. Up to $300 will be given to you in exchange for your property tax credit. Now below is also a list of that $325 Indiana rebate that it also specified. But the Illinois Department of Revenue estimates that it will take several months to process and send out rebate. Like Georgia, Indiana, they're experiencing fiscal surplus in 2021, which meant that people might get back twice as much money in December of 2021 return, Indiana Governor Eric Holcomb announced a one-time tax rebate of $125. It is not necessary to have a good income. Residents must file their state income tax forms by January 3rd of 2022 or April 18th of 2022, respectively, from the calendar year of 2020 and 2021. According to reports, payments begin in May and joint filers will get $250. Now, a $200 increase was permitted for each individual taxpayer of 2022. During the second wave of payments, though, which began in late August, the majority of taxpayers will get payments in simple installments. If your bank has changed or if you don't have a direct deposit, you'll receive a paper check. Old fashioned. Due to the printing error, the first round of mailed were delayed, mailed payment. However, it started up again in August after the deadline. Each taxpayer will get a $325 check in the mail. All rebates have been distributed. If you haven't received your payment yet, you should hold out until a little bit uh, until hopefully you get it. If you haven't, check with the Indiana Department of Revenue. Visit the state's revenue website for details on how to get that. Now, Maine, $850 in financial assistance, right? This is pretty cool. In the, the supplemental budget the Governor Janet Mills signed on April 20th, taxpayers can get up to $850. Those who have a permanent address and an annual gross income of less than $100,000 are eligible. Married couples, well, y'all get $1,700 for that. Those who owe state income tax will receive it. Residents have until October 31st, 2021 to file their tax returns and get that money based on the return. The initial distribution of those surplus funds took place in June and they were mailed straight from the state of Maine to the addresses that were provided on your tax return. The supplemental budget also raises the benefit of Maine's EITC, that earned income tax credit. First responders in Minnesota will get $700. Frontline workers can now get a lump sum of $750 thanks to the bill that Governor Tim Walz signed into law in May. And employees in Minnesota are required to work a minimum of 120 hours between March 15, 2020 to June 30th of 2021. Between December of 2019 and January of 2022, no one could have made more than $175,000 direct patient care related work yearly. And no one else could have made more than $85,000. The appeal requests are now being looked at for people that are looking to still get that money. Waltz has proposed giving each resident a $1,000 tax rebate check out of the state's $7 billion surplus. The program must be resolved using the law, is what he's saying. New Jersey began under $500. Governor Phil Murphy and the New York Assembly reached a financial agreement that will see almost 1 million New Jersey households receive $500. If you filed your taxes in New Jersey without providing your social security number, the state will give you $500 refund. In addition, both temporary and permanent residents, spouses, and children are eligible. You know, this is a pretty big topical issue, right? And New Mexico getting a rebate of 500 bucks as the bill for Governor Michelle Loon Grissom signed into law in March. The state's taxpayers will get compensated. Low income New Mexicans have September 26 to submit their petition for $400 in subsidies. The state legislation allowed $10 million to help help people get money. People in New Mexico. Mexico may use if they need it in the form. Low-income households will receive the first distribution of that money. And $250 to $500 rebates for are available who, for those who file jointly. $150,000 and $75,000 for joint filers. A married couple gets $1,000 yearly compared to a single person who gets $500. This rebate was issued in 2022 between June and August and in 2021 for filers taking any further action if a taxpayer's annual income is less than $75,000. If you didn't get that $750 check, maybe check where that check is. Non-filers who are entitled to refunds in July, adults with spouses receive $500, while those with spouses and 
a child, receive a thousand. Applicants must be completed and submitted by May 31st, 2023. Your money can be delivered to you either electronically or by check. Your rebate will be reduced by the amount of taxes you owe for 2021 if you haven't paid or it comes out of it. The payments of $600 will be made to people in Oregon. The Oregon legislator authorized a one-time payment in the amount of $600 March 2022. Everyone who filed a state income tax return in 2020 claimed the earned income tax credit and had the permanent residency in Oregon for the last six months of the tax year will receive this single payment. During the outbreak, the state offered direct support to roughly 236,000 low-income households. During the period of June 23rd, 2022 through July 1st, 2022, payments were made by wire transfer and postal check. On the website, Oregon Department of Revenue, you can read further questions about what to do and how to get those payments. Due to the surplus, Rhode Island also is putting out its $250 to youngsters. Each household can get up to $750 for each household um, only gets a maximum of three children. I guess if you had more, I guess you miss out on that. The federal state filing of 2021 must list those dependents on your tax return. In order to qualify, taxpayers must not make more than $100,000 or $200,000 if you file jointly. The first day of the child tax credit in October 3rd of, of this year, for the they're gonna base it off of your 2021 returns. When you submit them, hopefully you've submitted them by October of 2021. 22, the state will issue a refund in this month. So you should be getting it right about now. South Carolina, you get a $800 reimbursement. Some people may get up to $700 back from the government because of this tax cut. They got a surplus, which is great. One billion in June and upward boundaries might differ from one another, but you're gonna get this money, which is pretty cool, 700 bucks. And also a $250 in Virginia rebates. Virginia authorized a one-time tax credit in June and that tax form were in July 1st, you should start receiving your checks back at the end of October. If you haven't, make sure you check with them because you should have gotten it. All other taxpayers received a check by the mail along with a $250 credit in their initial account and an exception for those who have direct deposit. In four states, people have asked for gas tax refunds, lower food tax rates, low resident income tax rebates, and direct stimulus. The Kentucky Senate passed a $1 billion dollar tax rebate using the state surplus funds. The House has not yet acted on it and residents in Kentucky may be eligible for to receive $500 to $1,000 for family. The legislator has finished its work for the year, so they're in the holiday season right now and special meetings has been sought by a few Republican lawmakers in Montana, but talks have been given back to citizens in the state about getting them this money. A total amount of $1 billion in tax rebates, including $1,000 for household homeowners, and also 1200 for everyone who paid state income tax were planned to be funded to the state surplus, which is really cool. What will happen to the rebate is unknown because the Montana legislator decided against calling a special meeting to discuss them. Democrat lawmakers in North Carolina want to use the state's $6.5 billion budget surplus to give tax refunds. Under a plan, the General Assembly, every licensed driver 18 years old would get a $200 check. However, the state Senate Republicans are against this one-time payment and a proposal under the consideration would give money to almost 250,000 Pennsylvania residents to assist their childcare and other expenses. Though Governor Tom Wolf's PA Opportunity Program, low-income families may be able to get a one-time payment of $2,000 on this one. Republicans in the state are worried that paying employees with a surplus will cause prices to go up. Some locals may be able to get their rent or their property taxes lowered because of this money, this inflation that's out of control. Residents 65 years of age and widows or widowers 50 years or older or disabled people 18 years of age and older will get these payments. The maximum amount of income for the household is $35,000 while the maximum annual income for renters is 15,000. Some sources of income don't have to be reported though. The application must be 50% of whatever social security payments have been received. You may learn more about it, who's exempt from these taxes in Pennsylvania and how much you can earn by visiting the website, but the highest wage would receive $975 in 
this money. Undoubtedly, a lot of checks are being written at the moment. If you find this useful in any way, please let me know in the comments below. If you like to see other videos that inspire you, please check it out. Also, if you're looking for a grant, check out this grants video. And also, take care. I'm Andrew Cartwright. Love you. Please consider subscribing and liking the video if you enjoyed it. Take care.